KWU full contact fight. That's K1 rules for those of you who don't know. And I'm joined by another absolute legend, Semi Shilt. I mean, talk about big superstars. You're you're bigger than big, Semi, but you already know that. And but your personality is bigger than your 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 person. So. I just want to say thank you to you as well. I thanked Ernesto, and I'm going to thank you for your service in the K1 ring. An absolute legend who inspired me and millions of others. So, sir, uh, thank you very much. Was, thank you, Grant. To the fight. 85 kilograms. We have Christian Deutschev from Bulgaria. Obviously, he's going to be the local favorite. 27 years of age. He's a Kaikashin European champion. Um, he's, he's a Kaikashin world champion, under 90 kilograms. His life revolves around training and sport. And he's, he's fighting. He's fighting. Uh, who is he fighting? <laughs> he's fighting Renato Branca. <laughs> 19 years old. I got man. my paperwork messed up. Yeah, 19 years of age. Yeah. He's the Italian Muay Thai champion. Uh, and Pringa took part in the Senchi 13 gala. So he's not a stranger to the Senchi ring. It's interesting when you think back to the original K1s, you used to see guys fighting in their gi trousers with their black belts on. It's nostalgic for me. I quite like it as a true martial artist. Something you don't see nowadays. Now, now the red corner here, get, getting a standing count. It was a low kick, it was a good low kick. I was told once by some some Dutch guy uh, when I was refereeing, uh, somebody got knocked down with a low kick and I counted him. And they said, you don't count someone if it's a low kick. If they go down from a punishing blow, you count them to see if they can carry on, don't you? Yeah. It's exactly what our referee did there. For sure. It's really nice, uh, nice you know, because uh, Christian Dorscher, he's really a product of Senshi, you know? He's a really quite kickshin guy. He was uh -huh. going to the, to the kickboxing. I think he's doing really good. Yeah, and that to say that someone's a product of Senshi it is it's actually that's a really credible thing to say to a guy because this was put together with the traditions of Kaikashen, uh, karate, and we want to uphold the traditions of true martial arts, the Budo ethic, honor, respect, sportsmanship, and you don't get any of this, let's say, call it American trash talking, disrespect. <laughs> the referee has to separate them there. Enthusiastic. Last 10 seconds. This is a really nice round. Lovely knees there. Time. Yeah. So the end of the first round. That seemed to go very, very quickly. So we've got a traditional karateka. In his, in his Kaikashin gi trousers. These guys show toughness like I've never seen before. Um, I mean, go back to the original K1. We've got Nick Pettis as our ring announcer. Have a look at some of his fights and the punishment that these guys used to take and keep coming forward is incredible. We already saw that in our last contest. Our Azerbaijani fighter, Agmaliev, was absolutely tough. There's a huge knee on the inside, but that counter and that lovely Kaikashin spinning kick there in that first round. Seconds out. So, seconds out. seconds out. These guys are coming out for the second round, and Renato Prenga, at 19 years of age, is showing great composure. However, round now as the rounds out. develop, have these young guys got the maturity to keep on going? Because with, without experience of different occurrences within the ring, if your game plan starts to fail, you can be at a loss of where to go next. You can see every Kaikashin guy, they look quite stiff. Yeah. And on occasions, they're throwing a lot of linear techniques, but their power is unquestionable. 
that's that's the basic of the Kyokushin uh, of, of the the Fukuda Karate, you know, the one punch knockout. So everything what they do, they want to do really with with everything, you know. So that that's why it looks like a little bit static maybe sometimes, but but it's explosive at the <laughs> yeah. same time. Yeah, it's really it's really nice to see. And but that's why you, this. you don't see them uh, throwing feints and jabs to set up a power kick or no. a power punch. No. No, th that's where the legends are here to teach them that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And for those who, for, well, I just want to watch this explosive fight. Yeah. Talk about it. But for those who don't know, Senshi is not just a fight show. It's a complete week of seminars, instructionals, and a whole martial arts experience. Anyone who comes here, and we've got hundreds and hundreds of students who come to train with the legends, Sammy. Um, Ernesto Hoost, Andy Sauer, Nick Pettis, Jan Suka, all of them giving away the secrets of their success in the past. Now, the doctor just looking at yeah. the red corner's eye here. It's, 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 a, it's a pretty cut, but uh, it's under the eye. So I think the fight can go on. This is the biggest nightmare of any fight. You know, you're, you're getting a cut and you cannot fight, continue. Yeah. If, if all your spirit is not broken, you know? Well, Currently right now what's happening is that the referee and the doctors are checking the red corner's injury. It looks like he's got a fairly deep cut under his left eye, but it looks like they are going to let him continue to fight unless they can... They cannot stop the bleeding, then they will have to be forced to stop the fight. Uh, just as I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, And here we go. Well, looking at the cut, like you say, it's an inch below the, the left eye. Yeah. I don't think it's particularly deep. No. And let's remember, this is a world stage. This isn't an amateur fight somewhere. This yeah. is the top of the food chain. But this, this is really, no, he's smelling the blood literally, you know. Oh, oh lovely yeah, high kick there. Lovely. And again, at 19 years of age, Renato Prenga. Yeah. He, he, might not, of respect, of respect. he might not be able to psychologically cope with the fact that he's got a cut and he's being attacked. Uh, uh, oh, it was that, a well, the low blow. I didn't see. Oh, I didn't, it looked on the belt line to me. That didn't look too low. But it's a very difficult call for a referee if, yeah. a, if it's on the if it's right on that belt. Yeah, but it's always better to save the story, you know. You stop it for a while, you, look, you see, normally you have the eight count, you know, uh -huh. then the re recovery count, but uh, they go again. But look at the confidence in uh, Deutschev now. Like you say, he smells the blood, he's coming forward, yeah. you can see by his posture, hey, yes, look, look, look. lovely. Yeah. They were hard, yeah. stiff punches. Yeah. You for can sure. see his body language setting that up, setting that power yeah, yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cut getting a cat to get yes. ready to jump, you know. Ready to spring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's really you, can, you can feel it. Look. Bring us a move. Get out of the corner there. Yeah, give him give yourself that's experience we're saying at 19 years of age. He looks yeah. a little bit demoralized here. Yeah. Yeah, the, the low kick again. Oh the big punches if that yeah. lands. Yeah. Little clinching. Take the initiative, guy. Come on. Hi. And Time. And Deutschev <laughs> is very consistent. He's very consistent. He's, he's got this sort of come forward, stiff posture that is very difficult to actually deal with sometimes because you hit someone and they don't move and they don't respond. <laughs> we call Kyukushin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, these guys are just super tough. Yeah, for uh, sure. And I know kickboxers and MMA fighters who have told me that the hardest sport they ever competed in wasn't boxing, it wasn't Muay Thai, it wasn't MMA, it was Kaikoshin. That's the most difficult, punishing sport they ever they ever competed in. The only thing is what the... Uh what the Dutch chef needs to do is get, uh, keep his distance, you know? He's sometimes a little bit too eager, and then he steps in, and then he, he gets too close. Yeah. If he keeps his distance, he can be uh, even and, more dangerous. And if he created some range, he could be attacking that, yeah. that lead leg with some low kicks. Yeah, for sure. Third round. And yeah. It's all or nothing now. I mean, it just it amazes me how easy this sport is when you're outside the ring. 
when, when you watch somebody like, like Prenga through those two, um, they were reasonably soft kicks. As he steps back down, he's open for that low kick to land from his opponent. Um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. So Prenga is still dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, the cutman did a good job, eh? The, 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 the wound is closed again. Yeah. And it takes, sometimes it can take a minute for the for the cut to uh, clot naturally. Yeah. yeah. Um, in 90 seconds normally, eh? <laughs> well, 93. <laughs> 93. <laughs> 93. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the nature of the knee. So full credit to Prenga. He's still in there. He's still dangerous because he's got a punch. But Dojcev, a Bulgarian Kaikashin black belt. There's some Kaikashin yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can really see his background just from his stance, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see his back pop up before he's going to kill yeah. the punch. So this... Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that was a lovely yeah. left hook. Yeah. But keep your distance. Keep your distance. Don't go too close. I mean, if I was to make any criticism at all, but he, he's winning the fight, so it's difficult. But the Kakashin guys, for me, oh, yeah. nice, nice spinning kick. They seem to only have one gear, one pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to see fighters change up and change down. Oh. Yeah, they got one direction. That's in the going in front. <laughs> hey. Here we go. Yeah. So we're within the last minute of our third and final round of this under 85 kilogram clash between Italy and Bulgaria. And Christian Dojcev, hey. a Kaikashin fighter, taking control after cutting Renato Prenga from Italy. Under 30 seconds to go. And it, oh, there's that left hook to the body again. And as we approach I think, the end... I think uh, Renato Praga is really doing a good job, you know, 19 years old. Imagine, you know, you're standing in the biggest platform, uh, what he can get at this moment. I think it's well, a really good... Uh, good. The learning... Uh, as, as long as they're corners, as long as they're corners, know what they're doing, and they can take the guy and say, listen, it doesn't matter about the decision. Wow, that was probably How some much? of the most exciting three rounds I've seen in a very long time. What incredible skill from two fighters like that. Spinning back kicks, flying knees, everything was in this fight. And while we are waiting for the official scorecard, I would like to invite up the presenter of the next awards is Sensei Zahari Damianov. Please come back up on the ring, sir. Zahari Damianov. So as we await the judges' decision, we can see the blue corner, a Kaikashin fighter from Bulgaria with a smile on his face. I think we know it's gonna go his way, but full credit to Prenga, who is going away with some valuable lessons. Yeah, he is also proud. This is a good, this is a good fighter. Yes, what? These are good fighters. Fantastic right, observation, Sammy. Really good observation. Score. Judge one. In favor of the blue corner, 25 to 30. Judge number two, in favor of the blue corner, 25 to 30. And judge three, 29 to 30. In the blue corner, Christian Deutsche. So just to reiterate what you just said there, Semi, 
You said that Prenga is going home a proud man as well. Even in victory and in loss, your performance can tell the world who you are. And he can go home. And this is what he's showing now. In my opinion, he's a very good loser. And we need guys like this because without the loser, you can have a winner. So I think this is a really good experience for him. I like it very much. Thank you, man. Yeah, there good we fight. go. Us from yes. us. 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 Well done, Sammy. I'll okay. see you again in a few I'm fights. I'm going to leave you. Oh, dear. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you later.